guys, it's Jasper, and today I am sitting in front of my Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Because, because it's almost Christmas time and it's fun to sometimes be by your Christmas tree. And also, for a very, very special reason, that if you aren't following me on Instagram, you probably don't know yet. The very special reason is, last night, I finished the first draft of my novel, baby. So in today's video, I want to talk about two things. One, I want to talk a little bit about finishing the first draft of my novel. And secondly, I want to talk about what you guys want to see more or less of on this channel. So, first things first, finishing the first draft of my novel. So the one thing I was surprised about with finishing the first draft of my novel was that it was incredibly difficult to finish it up because because it's the first draft, I know as I'm like writing forward and I'm getting to the end and wrapping it up, I know that I already need to go back and change things, rework things, restructure things, emphasize something more, emphasize other things less. And so I was having a hard time visualizing, you know, or believing how can I really finish my draft when, you know, parts of it I have to completely kind of redo and I already know that. but. I just really focused on pushing forward and just saying, you know, it's okay, it's a first draft. Something that was helpful was to imagine my first draft of my novel, like so many first drafts of essays that I've written. In my seven years of schooling, I have written a ton of essays, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. And usually what my first draft is, is my first draft has, you know, rock solid thesis. It has excellent research, it's got great raw material, but it's a huge, huge mess. And it's like rough and, and chunky, and there's, there's certain lines that for sure I'm gonna keep, but a lot of stuff is just gonna have to be restructured. But the main thing is, your first draft with an essay serves the purpose of outlining what am I doing here, what is my main point, gathering your resources, and kind of setting up a structure. And so I had to think about the first draft of my novel in this way as well, just it doesn't have to be perfect yet, Jasper, because nothing you write the first time usually is. So on first drafts, that was the one thing that I found a little bit challenging, was just being okay with writing an end, even though I know the whole writing process is, you know, far from being over. The second thing was, it felt really good to write the end. I've just had years and years and years of imagining, you know, what would this first book look like? And to sort of see it, even though it's rough, to see it from start to finish and, you know, the things in between that I had never imagined putting in and then seeing some of the things that I had imagined putting in, some of it's pretty graphic and gory and gruesome. <laughs> it, it just was really rewarding and it felt awesome to write some final lines, even if those aren't the lines that are going to stay. Though I have a feeling the sort of essence of it has to be there because, I don't know, I, I think the ending is pretty killer. <laughs> so the two big things I learned this week is that it's difficult to write the end of your first draft, but also it feels so good to write the end of your first draft. When I wrote the last line and I closed my laptop, everything went black and white, baby. And I'm feeling good, birds flying high, you know what I mean, sun in the sky, you know what I mean, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. And that brings me to the second thing I want to talk about on this channel, which is, what do you want? I'm going to be taking a break from this channel over the Christmas holidays. After my videos I post next week, I won't post anything until the second week of January. 
And that's just because I want to relax, recharge, celebrate, because I've earned it, right? <laughs> and uh, in that time, I just want to regroup a little and refocus on what it is that I make and put out on this channel. And I would love to have some feedback from you guys as to what you'd like to see more or less of on this channel. If you'd like to hear more specifics about the book I'm writing or how it is I came to be in this place where I'm writing, if you'd like to hear more about my academic history, if you'd like to hear more about um, the kind of books or films or shows that I'm watching that sort of inspire me, that sort of thing. If you'd like to see more everyday sort of writing vlogs, watch me while I work sort of things, let me know about that. If you'd like to see uh, bookshelf tours, ah, oh, my shelves are a mess, but I could try to do that. If you have specific questions you'd like me to field, like why are you writing in the genre of fantasy? Why do you think fairy tales are important? Who cares about mythology? Celtic? What is that? <laughs> Anything you'd like to see more of or less of on this channel, I would love, 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 love if you comment down below. Let me know what that is. As always, guys, let's be a community of writers that help each other out. Cheers and cheers.